Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Episode 10, Thoughts. This episode is called The Dark One. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Evil Dead leading up to and including this episode. The show is rated TVMA, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah. Um, this is a really cool season finale. This was everything I hoped for. You know, the, the I, I wasn't sure how... Like, the fact that there's more episodes after this kind of says, okay, one way or another, this episode must not end. Which, obviously, the first time people were able to watch it back in 2016, you know, nobody knew. But, yeah, you know, the fact that I'm able to watch it today, knowing there's more episodes, somehow, Ash is not going to be able to, to stop everything in this episode but the fact that he actually went along with the evil, yeah, it's it's in character and it's it's a much funnier than yeah than than if he like put all his effort into it and then no, but he just he wants Jacksonville. So yeah, a uh, really cool opening to the the episode with the the storm outside. A lot of fun stuff with the the chainsaw. You know, he has to remove his hand to, to fit the chainsaw. He catches it and, you you know, chainsawing through the the stomach of Amanda and just, yeah, some, some really great stuff. And let's see. Yeah, uh, Heather is, you know, sprayed with with blood, which... Apparently, when they were, you know, yeah, back in, in, you know, when, when this was, let's see, um, ah, crap, what's the, the um, word for, um, the, um, let's see. Yes, yes. Uh, in, in June 2016, a Facebook user posted a photo, this is from Wikipedia, of a bruised, bloodied, and scratched Samara weaving without identifying the woman in the image was weaving or any actress. The photo was accompanied by the caption, the result of fascism in America, simply because she was a Trump supporter. Which is just hilarious because it's the other way around. It's Trump supporters. There was this one person who, like, shot their neighbor because the neighbor displayed a Biden uh, sign in their yard or something completely which I did you know that that came later that wasn't at this time obviously since Biden you know 2016 that was Hillary not Biden back to Wikipedia although some news outlets clarified the photo was of Samara weaving and that she was not really injured Many supporters of then-candidate Donald Trump were convinced that the image was proof of liberal violence against Trump supporters. In support of this misinterpretation of the photo, the post was shared close to 30,000 times. To try to counter this misinformation, Ash vs. Evil Dead star Bruce Campbell tweeted, Check your facts, folks. This is an actress named Samara Weaving from Ash vs. Evil Dead. This is a makeup test. Sad. Which I really respect him for doing. I... I I can imagine there's probably Trump supporters who love Bruce Campbell for some of his roles, so I seriously respect that he's willing to, to, yeah. And Weaving herself tweeted, I really hate this. And yeah, you know, Trump supporters will believe anything. This is far from the most ridiculous thing they believe. And let's see, yeah, and, and we see that, you know, Ruby and Pablo must have gone in the cellar. Very chilling. Love the montage of Ash preparing the weapon. And it kind of reminded me of, like, Aliens when she's, like, sticking... Was that also gaffer tape? It's been too long since I watched Aliens last time. But, yeah. You know, she's also sticking weapons together. And, just, yeah. Which, you know, that may... Let's see. Yeah. Um... This thing of, of, yeah, I, I think I've made my point, and let's see, yeah, I like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, protect the, the people I care about, that means me, right, of course, 
and me. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Stay close to her, okay? Which is actually, yeah, that is how it ends up with her dying. She wasn't close enough to Kelly. You know, not through any fault of her own, to be clear, but, yeah. And, yeah, Ash. <laughs> I like that. Maybe that was just a rat, and then we hear a noise that is most definitely not a rat. That is definitely the forces of evil. And, you know, yeah, he, he falls down and wakes up, and it's back to the hallucination. And I like, you know, Lucy, or Tattoo Girl, you know, he, he explains what he's been experiencing, and she's like, that doesn't sound very fun. Dude, buzzkill. And let's see. Then we have the um, yeah, and and yeah. Once he realizes, you know, this this yeah, he's you know he sees Ruby, who's got a real Catherine Trammell thing going on. I real I honestly expected them to do the the leg cross or something I love that Ash hates the movie Godfather too long too boring not enough boobs let's see kinda makes me wish that they would do like for for promotion you know Ash Williams you know ah, what's like IMDb reviews or something let's see and you know, like, I, I can imagine he would probably rate the room pretty high and, and write something like, pretty hot, why is he fucking her belly button? Something like that, you know. You know, one, like, four out of five stars. One one star dropped for, for belly button fucking. And, let's see. Yeah, and she holds up the, the card of Jacksonville, which becomes a gif, or a jif, depending on, you know, Maybe you want to say it wrong. You could say Jif. And, yeah, the... I appreciate that they keep coming up with really nasty, disgusting things. Yeah, because that's what we want from this franchise. Seeing a bunch of, like... You know, because Heather looks down and sees Bug Snacks. I mean, Bug Snatch. And that is legitimately just like, wow, that's, that is severely fucked up, and I'm here for it. I will, I will never turn down Samara Weaving in something violent and gross and fucked up. I, I really, honestly, if her entire, I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing her in other stuff. She's done a bunch of stuff that isn't this, but you know, between Ready or Not, this, and Scream Six, yeah. If if the if everything I see her in is is this kind of thing, oh, she's in something called Azrael. Let's see. Yeah, that sounds like it's gonna be another one of these so so that's just she's so freaking good at it she's got the 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 physicality and and her you know she's she is an amazing scream queen she's her her screams are just amazing let's see and note that i said physicality first i do think that is the more important aspect. And, you know, whether we're watching her be brutalized or brutalize someone else, it's really entertaining to watch. Yeah, I do prefer when she's the one brutalizing, but these are also quite fun. And, and then Kelly slaps her, which, wow. But yeah, you know, every so often the, the show's gonna throw a really conservative thing our way. The, the eye in the, the wall was super creepy. And, you know, yet again, Heather gets the blood on her. Or I guess, maybe it's not blood. Maybe it's eye juice. And let's see. It's, it's not really shocking, but Lucy Lawless, fantastic on the, on the chanting. You know, just really, it feels just, yeah, she, she nails it. 
and Pablo gives birth. And and you know, Ash is like, mm, that's why I haven't had kids. And yeah, I like when, when Kelly's like, you are gonna live, you're gonna be the best dental hygienist in England or wherever it is you're from. Which I mean, you know, in, in real life she's from Australia, and I I think that is her her natural accent she's using. But yeah, it is one of those things like a lot of Americans can't tell apart different parts of, of England by the accent, so very accurate. And then Heather is attacked by furniture. So far, so good. And that was also really, you know, it, crushing on, on top of her, her foot, just really nasty. And then she gets nailed, just as she was hoping, not perhaps in the exact manner that she was looking for it to happen. There is a knob. It's horrifying. It, it taunts Kelly. And let's see. Yeah, really, Heather, like, you know, is dismembered and, and you know, Kel and, and the head, the disembodied head is, like, taunting Kelly. Just, wow. And, and then we have, like, she's clearly trying to kick the head far away. But, she, you know, she, like, kicks it, and it doesn't really go very far. I think that's supposed to be, like, a joke about, you know, women not being good at sports or something. Which, you know, considering that there are, like, some of the, some of the most talented women in sports are infinitely better than, you know, a lot of, of men at it. So, yeah, it just... Swing and a miss. Own goal, if you will. And let's see. Yeah, I like the the kid and and Ash. You know, Ash is like, come on, kid, it's a shotgun. You know, which I mean, I don't think the kid knows. You know, for all for all he knows, there's food coming out of that pipe. I cannot believe I just made that fucking reference. Moving on, but but yeah, you know really really fun and and the the noise that that kid emits also just like horrifying um i want to give the kid credit but i'm not seeing any not on imdb at least no one's listed as because there's not or uh let's see yeah i'm not i'm not seeing anyone credited with you know but the the kid did amazing and let's see i like kelly you know it's like homemade fl uh, flamethrower pablo would be proud and let's see um yeah some some pretty good stuff with let's see then we have yeah kelly fighting the kid also quite good and let's see yeah and and you know ruby is like i need a new face for my book and starts carving up ash's face like Yeesh. and he does manage to get the knife and starts using it against her and like credit to how bad he is at this like she's like oh what you're gonna kill me i mean he could keep torturing you clearly he can hurt you he doesn't have to, to actually just yeah you know in real life i'm against torture but this is you know ruby is evil so it's, it's you know let's see yeah and and you know she says you know without good there can be no evil which is mm, that's, Nice turn of phrase there. And, you know, she just wants to control the evil. Let's see. And and I do appreciate that, because that is the thing. Like, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to season two, which I will be starting next week. You know, six or eight days, something like that. And, yeah, um, it's going to be different, because, because we haven't seen 
you know, at, at the very end of this episode, we see the, the sinkhole, but we haven't seen much. We just know, you know, like Kelly points out, you know, evil has been unleashed here. And the, the you know, now seemingly it's going to be under Ruby's control. That's not necessarily a good thing. That just means, you know, but yeah, the, the, let's see, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's a different evil than if it's not the devil we know anymore. And, and $10,000, I'm not a bank, gas money. Wow, that is like he should be working with laundry because that was really fast folding. And the let's see. Yeah, and, and they're they're driving away and he's like got a big smile on his face and the other two are like You fucked us, you fucked us all, the entire earth. For for fucking Jacksonville, that's that's your price, yo. And, and, you know, emergency alert, there are sinkholes open. Ah, the news are so depressing, which just, yeah. See, apparently Bruce Campbell, you know, does not, like, blandly go along with what Trump supporters believe. But Ash Williams, you know, that that is a Trump supporter move, if I've ever seen one. Like, oh, the, they're telling me something that does not go along with what I believe about the world? Not going to listen to it. And let's see. Yeah, and he puts on Back in Black, which is a, a really excellent song. And we see a, a sinkhole open, just very, very ominous. Love it. Yeah. Um, I know I said it at the start of the video, but this was a really solid season finale. And let's see. Let's see. Right, so IMDb trivia for this episode. Before Ash heads into the fruit cellar to save Pablo, he puts black shoe polish in his hair, specifically on the left side of his head. At the end of Evil Dead 2, when the rotten apple head monster burst through the door of the cabin, Ash is so frightened by the sight of this monster, a small portion of his hair turns gray on the left side of his head. Oh! Freddy Krueger's glove makes an appearance again in the basement this time, except this time... Modified to fit a left hand, this is a reference to the second installment in the film series where Freddy's glove appears hanging above the workshed door due to a playful feud between Sam Raimi and Wes Craven, R.I.P., creator of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Tattoo girl's name is Lucy, which Ash keeps forgetting. Samara Weaving does her trademark scream in this episode. And another person entered Tattoo Girl's name. Yeah. Wow. Um, moving on. Unlike Kelly's possession, Pablo is fully aware the entire time it's happening. While Kelly was unconscious, as Elias was in control, the Necronomicon's possession over Pablo, similar to... Oh, wow. Yeah, this is written by someone who thinks possessions are real. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read that kind of propaganda bullshit. Which has gotten real life people hurt. Like, you know, believe whatever you want about, you know, but people have been hurt during exorcisms. Kelly's difference could be explained simply because Elagos is a normal demon, possibly named after Elagos at Bigor, and nothing more. Let's see. Heather is the eighth female victim of the cabin, the second in the show. Let's see. And. Oh, that's a spoiler for later in the show. Okay, so if you if you're gonna read these, you know, just be aware. Don't don't uncover spoilers for for the IMDb trivia of this one until you've read. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm gonna. You know, I'm I'm sometimes really good at forgetting if I've seen a spoiler for something I haven't watched yet. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, actor trademark Samara Weaving scream. Heather screams throughout the episode. You know, she actually demonstrated it in, like, I, f I forget, it was an interview on some, let's see, Samara Weaving interview screen, uh, let's see, yeah, I think it was, yeah, James Corden's, yeah, if, yeah, uh, Samara Weaving has an epic scream, it's simply called, 
<laughs> and someone made a supercut of all her screams in Ready or Not. And yeah, there are several other. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's yeah. The scream itself is also there as a short. Yeah. So, uh, let's see, that brings us to, um, yeah, several of the best lines from the episode are in the IMDb quote section for the episode, and, Right, I, I really enjoyed when, when Ash is like trying to, you know, hype himself up and, you know, talking. And and meanwhile, the kid is like slowly moving closer right behind him. That was great. Reminded me of when the, the hand is moving behind him in, in Evil Dead 2. Let's see. And... I think that might be yeah and it, right when Ash says he didn't like Godfather he says he's more of a death wish kind of guy I believe that let's see and yeah um Um, right, I, yeah, when, when Ash insists, you know, she can't call him El Jefe, it's Mr. Jefe, Mr. The Boss, wow. And, yo, know, Ruby Noby came up to Ash, said, Sir, tears streaming down her evil face, and, let's see, I think that is... What I uh, I'm just looking for a good quote to end on. Let's see. Um, yeah, I like when when Ruby is like insulting Ash and yeah, and. It's, Ash, your entire life has been marked by tragedy and desperation and a woeful inadequacy. I get the idea. 